Israel. Don't hate him. There's a prophet. God blessed you for a purpose. And that purpose must come to pass. Enough is enough. Stand up. Leave them behind. Tell them I'm going somewhere. Somebody is holding a position on the right on account. Somebody here must go home with a blessing. I will overtake them. I will overtake them. You believe that shout hallelujah. Christ in you is the hope of glory. The hope I give unto you. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 12, 15 to 23. And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisted not in the abundance of the things which he possessed. And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, what shall I do? Because I have no more room where to bestow my fruits. And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. There will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, So, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thy ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that laid up treasure for himself, and is not rich towards God. And he said unto his disciples, Therefore I said unto you, Take no thoughts for your life, what ye shall eat, neither for the body what you shall put on. Verse 23. The life is more than meat, and body, the body is more than relevant. May God give us understanding in Jesus' name. You can take your seat. Tonight, that trinity, that trinity in you, destroy them. That trinity that is in you, destroy it. No reply. I said, that trinity that is in you, get rid of them. No reply. I will continue, if you, if, whether you reply or not. That trinity in you, Get rid of it. Uh -huh. I will show you the fake trinity. And show you the real trinity. From the gospel of Luke. Which we read. Fake trinity. Read from verse 17. And he thought within himself, Who is that? He thought within himself. himself. Who is that that is thinking? Fake Trinity. You are three in one. God made you in his own image and in his own word likeness. I want to remind you, you are not here on imagination. You are here on a pointed plan. And the fake Trinity said, he always come first. The thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. He always come first. And you are carrying it all about, not knowing what is 
follow you. Seventeen again. And he thought within himself. He thought within himself. Say, say, what shall I do? What shall I do? Because, because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. No room. Church, listen to me. The fake trinity was created. The fake trinity is not everything that greet us ago. There's fake and there's real. So the fake trinity was created. But the real trinity was made. One was created. One was made. We are made in the image of a real trinity. But the fake one was created. <laughs> See what verse 17 said. Read. And he thought within himself. He thought within himself. Say. Say. What shall I do? What shall I fake? There is a dangerous thing that lives in us. Let me mention three of them to you. Are you ready? Huh? Are you afraid? I, me, myself. This three. Very dangerous. And it's with us 24-7. Look at what fake Trinity said. Read again. And he thought within himself. He thought within what? Himself. Huh? Say. Say. What shall I do? What shall I? This is I. What shall I do? Do. Have you ever said such in negative? What shall I? Remember what I said? I, me, myself. Fake Trinity. He said within himself, What shall I do? Eh? Because I have no. Because I. This is it's still going on. And you are carrying this I all over. You may not know when they come up to trouble you. I know what to do. Eh? I have no room. I have no. Room. We are to bestow my fruit. My. <laughs> I. Me. My. Huh? 18. Go ahead. And he said. And he said. This will I do. This will I. Come again. See? 17 to 19 is where. Dirty Trinity speaks. I read again. And he said, This will I do. This will I do. I will, I will pull down my bounds. I will pull down my, my bounds. And build greater. And build what? Greater. Greater. And there will I. And there will. I. Are you following me? Yes, sir. Do you see I, I there? And there will I eh? bestow all my, my fruits, fruits and my <laughs> God is not coming in at all. I, me, myself. Huh? I will bestow all my fruits. I will bestow all my fruits and, and my goods. And my goods. And I. <laughs> it never stop. Huh? And I. Eh? We say to my. <laughs> so. I 
will say to my soul, so, thou hast much good laid up for many years. Be very careful. Whenever your soul is speaking to you, check what he's saying. It's very, very easy if care is not taken for your soul to deceive you. I, me, myself. Pomposity. Huh? Finish. Sanctimonious pomposity. Me, myself, coming from fake Trinity. I, don't, don't, don't you know me? I will show you that I am my house. I'm not saying that it's not your house. My car is true, it's your car. But what I'm saying is this the spirit behind the I, me, myself, where is it coming from? When I was reading this thing, I said, Wait, to, what is going on here? Then, is it verse 19? Read verse 19 again. And I, I will say to my soul, wait, I will say to, not to God. I, some, is it, when you make yourself a small trinity, I will say to my soul, do what? So, so, Thou hast much goods. Be very careful where your soul is telling you something. You may not discover it. Your soul can address you. You think that is God. Your soul can be speaking to you. You think that you are in third heaven. Check it out. I will say to my soul. Do what? Thou hast much goods laid up for many years. You see the fruit of I. Thou hast many what? Goods. Thou hast many things laid out for you for many, for many years. Fake Trinity. Speaking inside of you. Then, see the real Trinity. Verse 20. Bet. Bet. Everyone say bet. bet. Say bet. bet. Bet what? God said. Bet God. You see, if you say bet, and you say, but God. Your soul has been speaking to himself. I, me, myself. When he finished. Then the really God can say, But God, but God, say, But God, say it again, say it again. Don't be in a hurry. Whenever your soul is talking, you can leave him to talk. After, after that, wait what God will say. Because he will get a reply. But God did what? God said. But God said. Everyone said, but God said. You see, the devil may walk through you against you. You may see yourself as somebody when you are nobody. You may say you may see yourself with a big trouble and you magnify it. At the end of the day, but God said. That thing you are thinking that is so horrible, God said at the end. 
But God said, in all what he has said, I, me, myself, but God said. God said what? Thou fool. Hey. You are so, God said, you are a fool. That thing that is voicing out so something in you, God said, you are a fool. <laughs> Thank God for the word of God. Have you ever questioned yourself? Say, who, who, is, who is that talking? Who are you? The spirit warred against the soul. The devil. Your, your soul can serve devil if you, are not, if you care is not taking. But God said, Thou fool. He called him by exactly what the name is. Every time, I, I, I will build this. I will do that. You minus God. Can I say to you again, that trouble, that trouble, ask that trouble, who are you? Has God said all these things? Or you are saying it by yourself. But God said, Thou fool. That voice that is negative in you is a fool. No, no, no reply. I said, That voice that is negative, talking the other way, is a fool. That thing that is telling you that will happen will not happen. You will die, you will die, you will die. Tell him, I'm not dying. But God said, you're a fool. How can you tell somebody you, are, you will die? Are you the maker? How can you tell somebody you will see? Are you the leader? How can you tell somebody, I will show you? What are you showing him? Are you the leader? My brother, that negative thing, you think that. Devil is speaking through your soul. I don't trust my soul. That's why your soul must be changed. Because it can, it can deceive you. The soul of a man is desperately what? Wicked. And all the time, wicked things will be coming out of it. It is very imperative that you be born again. And when you are born again, you allow your soul to be filled with the Spirit. Leading and governing you. If not, you will hear devil thinking that is your soul. You will hear your soul thinking that is, is God. God is watching you. God is watching what is going on in you. God is watching and hearing who is speaking in you. Make a decision. But God, who is rich in mercy, Ephesians chapter 2, I still remember the story of Job. Job was boxed in a corner. And they were bombarding him with words. They said to Job, Job, you don't know that there's nobody right in the sight of God. It's true. But God is having a way to escape. God said, nobody is righteous. And the same God said, you are the righteousness of God in Christ. Without me, the Bible says you can do nothing. But with the Bible, God said, through me, you can do all things. 
The enemy will be talking through your soul say, you can't make it. You are defeated. Throw in towel. But the same God said, but God. Who knows your end from the beginning? We sell you through. Can I say to you again, you are not a defeat. You are not a failure. The voice of man may be negative, but God says, but God. Precept upon precept. Finishes. But, but God, God said unto him. But God said unto him, Thou fool. Thou fool. Yeah. My brother. My brother. You are not a fool. <laughs> but that person who wants, that spirit wants to deceive your soul is a fool. You are not the one. You are not the one. The real you going to heaven is not a fool. You are who God says you are. And you must prevail. And tonight you will go higher. Amen. You are not a fool. Hallelujah. You are not. I guarantee you that the spirit of grace is here with us. You are not a fool. You fool who is saying, I, me, myself, without God, you are a fool. The fool say in his what? Heart, there is no God. Is there any God, is there any Jesus Christ in you? You are not a fool. I say you are not. And if you are not a fool, you are what? Wise. My brother, my sister, do you know that things will be better for you? As days goes by, other people may be saying, I, me, myself, empty handed. But you, when you say, but God. Eh? Go on. Read. This but night. When? This night. When? Church, is it in your Bible? When? This night. This night. Huh? Thy soul shall be required of thee. Thy soul that is saying, I, me, myself will be required. You are not going to die. You. But that evil spirit that is trying to cheat you will be rooted out. When? When? If God said this night, it must be this night. You are here for a secret deliverance. This night, those things will be wiped out. Those fake trinity will be wiped out. When? Uh -huh. Read the judge. Thy soul shall be required of thee. This night, thy soul shall be required. By the way, why did God, Jesus say that? The soul is saying, my, me, myself, I am the owner. I created this world for myself. Oh, this thing belongs to you, you fool. But this night, this night, that soul that is talking these things shall be required. Your enemies may be boasting and boasting and boasting. They are going nowhere. For this night, I pray that the enemies of your soul 
the enemies of deceit will be crushed out of your life. The enemies of sanctification will be blotted out in Jesus' name. The enemies of real riches will be blotted out in Jesus' name. This night, your soul, that lying and boastful soul, will be required from you. In other words, God will intervene. God will intervene in the life of somebody. Enough is enough of playing game. You can be on that lying spirit for how long? The real blessing of God in your life will manifest. You will come out shining and smoking. You belong to real trinity. When God said, I made you in my own image, no fake thing will come in. No fake thing will come in. Go ahead. Then, who shall those things be? Who shall those things be? Which thou hast provided. Which thou, you fake trinity. All those things you are boasting, they are provided. Who, tell me, who, who will take it? Huh? Verse 21. 21. So is he that layeth up treasure for himself, uh -huh. and is not rich toward God. Is not rich towards God. Do you know why you are this evening? You are here this evening to multiply your riches towards God. To multiply your riches towards God. That is on daily basis. Anytime you are in the service hearing the word of God, you are multiplying your riches. God is not blessing like man. The blessings of God is durable. This blessing is for somebody. And it will come through pure trinity. God the Father ushered in love. Jesus Christ ushered in salvation. The Holy Spirit ushered in seal. Nobody can snatch you out of him out of God's hand. You are not a lose or a lost sheep. You are a real child of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Tell me. Go ahead. So is he that lay up treasure for himself mm -hmm. for and himself. is not rich toward God. And not rich towards God. And he said unto his disciples. Say unto his disciples. Therefore I say unto you. Therefore I say unto you. Take no thought. Take no what? No thought. I don't know whether it's anybody hearing. Many of you have been enslaved by thoughts. And that thought came, is coming out from fake trinity. Take no what? Take no thought. Fake trinity will produce thoughts. Take no thought. Uh -huh. Take no thought for your life. For your life. What you shall eat. What you shall eat. Neither for your body. Neither for your body. What ye shall put on. What you shall put on. The life. But life. Is more than meat. It's more than meat. And the body. Body. Is more than raiment. Is more than raiment. Everyone say, take no thought. How many thoughts have you there? How many of them? Don't take thought. Thought is scattered all over the road you are passing. This enemy, the devil, the enemy of our life, scattered thought all over. When you are passing on the way, say, look at, look at, look at that one. You pick it up. So this, my classmate, is now writing messages. Devil will give you a thought. 
you move again. Ha! Ah, don't you know that that so and so is married now huh? and you are still single? You have no. See that person has built a house and you are in Lagos. Thought. This is some of intricate things we don't know that is spoiling the, the vine. Devil will bring out something and magnify it, telling you that you are a failure. You are nobody. See what you are. Your, house, uh, your, your, your classmate is doing. And what are you doing? Giving you a thought. All coming from negative trinity. My God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ. You are not here in vain. God has a plan. He planned for you. It's the thought of good that you may have an expected end. I guarantee you that every step you are taking is ordered by the Lord. Don't mind the enemy speaking. So you are going to that church again. Remember, we deceive you people. Telling you, pray, 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 pray. Judge will come up and tell you, hallelujah, hallelujah. Elias will come up and say, hey. All these pastors will be speaking to you and you are hearing them. Ezekiel will come up. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, if, if it's only me, I take it. But not to the pastors. But all the things they are saying to us, they are from negative to me. The Almighty Father, loving Father, cannot speak to you like that. Jesus, who is your Savior, cannot speak to you like that. The Blessed Trinity cannot speak to you like that. His thought is solid one. Take no thought of yourself. It's very hard. What I will eat, what I will drink, what have we put on? In all that gospel, in all that synoptic gospel, you will see it. You say these these things are the thought of the Gentiles. But for you, be well assured that God of heaven has counted the number of the hair on your head. And no single one will drop without it, his permission. No single one will drop without his permission. You are the apple of God's eye. You know, Israel is called the apple of God's eyes. If you want to know where God stands today, check the nation of Israel. They are the apple of God's eyes. Likewise, in the church, you are the apple of God's eyes. Nothing will happen in the church or the nation without God giving you an instinct. He will let you know. I'm not talking about the gift of the spirit. He will let you know. He will sense it. That something is fishy. Take no thought. <laughs> my grandson said daddy you better tell God tell God what that we are ready to go go where you know when I was coming in the choir we are singing uh Soon or very soon. I think what that, that was. Soon or very soon, the pastors look at me. They, they stand me there. Look at me. 
because I, I, I normally tell them heaven is, is, near, is, is by the corner. Take no thoughts, no evil thoughts. Don't listen to that negative trinity. But think on these things. Things that are pure, good, so on and so forth. Think on them. One more time, you are not a failure. Yeah. On the line. His thought over you is the thought of peace, not of evil. No matter what, these two will come to pass. You can't stay there. You are just passing. And that trouble will pass away. So tonight we are going to pray. Any fake trinity speaking to you, I, I, whether try to please you or not, I will. I. I will. Me. Myself. Anytime you are talking to God and you say, I. Be very careful. Me. Be very careful. Myself. <laughs> As the layers, he will tell you. Elias went to prayer. Try to bombard heaven. This thing is too much. He was talking to God and God said, I am God. Elias pick rest, rest. Gather his mattress and so on. Run. He, 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 he. Don't allow him to speak two times. I am God. He will show you that he is the true trinity, true trinity. He will confirm his promises upon your life. He will do as he has said it. Not fake one, but ideal one. When God says, I will bless you, that is ideal one. He will, he will bless you. If he says, I will fight for you, he will do what? Fight for you. If he said, I will minus, he will do what? Minus. If he said, your enemy shall lick dust, he will do what? Lick dust. I change it. Through Christ. I will do all things through Christ. Not my will, but thy will be done. Make everything to be through him. And you are guaranteed. You will not fail. I say you will not fail. I say you will not fail. Heaven and earth can pass away. But his word for your life will never pass. The fool said, I... Me, myself, I don't know how many times he said it, but God, whatever the enemy has said in your life, do you know what we said tonight? But God, but God, that dream that is troubling you, that dream, you know what I'm talking about. That dream you dream and you say, wake up, la pa shaka la pa chola pata. Cool down. That bad dream, cool down. If it's too bad, cool down. It will not come to pass. It will not. It's not real. It will not. Cancel it. Don't you know that you are God, small g? God made you in his own image and likeness. 
you can decree a thing, it will come to pass. That bad one will not come to pass. It will not. If I tell you the battle I'm passing through, you will say, What? But when the devil battle from the air, from the land, from the earth, I still stand. I still stand. I say to the devil, too late. <laughs> you have got it. You, if it is you, you have gotten me. So years passed. But the the place I'm going is new, is nearer than the one before now. I will surely on the line make it. I will do like Enoch. Enoch walked with God. Walking with God. Walking with God. At the time, God said, hey, Enoch, you have walked for 300 and some years now. My, ha my house is nearer. Don't go back. He took Enoch. Likewise, God will take you. I'm not saying you will die, but, but God will take you to paradise at the end of the day. Don't think about going to hell. Hell is not meant for you. Yeah. Mock it off. It's not meant for you. It's meant for who? Yeah. And his fake kingdom. I want to pray. But I think I'm speaking to children of God tonight. I'm speaking to children of God tonight. If you watch, I don't know whether you are watching. If you watch what is going on, devil is coming like a mighty wind, killing, stealing, and so on and so forth. But God, will come to you with abundance. Yeah. I have come to give the life and to give it to them more. That is your God and my God. He will give it to us more abundantly. I believe God. George, read that thing once again. We pray. That Luke 12 from 17. Read again. And he thought within himself, saying, He thought, he thought within himself, What saying, shall I do? Uh, God, you, what shall I do? Because I have much, I have no room where to bestow my fruits. I have no room to bestow my, my fruits. And he said, And he said, This will I do. This will I do. I will pull down my back. I will pull down my back. And build greater. And build greater. And there will I bestow all my goods. And there will I bestow. And my goods. My goods. And I will say to my soul. I will say to my soul. So. So. Thou hast much goods. Thou hast much goods. Laid up for many years. Laid up for many years. Take thy ease. Take thy ease. Eat. Eat. Drink. Drink. And be merry. Be merry. Bet. Bet. God said unto him, God said unto him, Thou fool, thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that laid up treasure for himself, and is not rich towards God. And he said to his disciples, Therefore I say unto you, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life. Take no thought for your life. What ye shall eat. What ye shall eat. Neither for the body. Neither for the body. What ye shall put on. What ye are put on. The life is more than meat. The life. Oh. We are about to pray. 
your life is more than this. Who will agree with me tonight? Your life is more than everything you can think of. Your life. God will not lead you up to this time to abandon you. Huh? The life is more than meat. The life is more than what you eat. And the body is more than raiment. And the body is more than your dress. Who believe it? Who believe? What you are seeing with your eyes is nothing. There is hope beyond the grave. And that is for you and me. Shall we pray? Join Ms. Outreach of Christian Pentecostal Mission International under the apostolic and prophetic ministry of God's anointed servants, Rev. Dr. O. Ezekiel, the General Overseer, Rev. Dr. Mercy Ezekiel, Co-Pastor, National and International Coordinator, and other anointed servants of God as they present Faith Clinic every Tuesday. At Faith Clinic, sinners become saints, the sick heal, the barren conceive, the oppressed are set free, the demon possessed delivered. Time, 9 a.m. Ms. Outreach also extends love and antenatal health care prayer sessions for expectant mothers and pregnant women every Wednesday at 4 p.m. prompt and also every Thursday at 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. for business commission where men and women are commissioned with grace to succeed in business, career, family life and so on at Christian Pentecostal Mission International Headquarters 10 and 12 Matik Salami Street at Jawa Estate along Mutala Mohammed Airport Road, Lagos Peace Outreach, reaching out to the troubled souls Don't miss it CPR, Jesus Christ is Lord God has a plan for you A plan to give you a bright future Come and experience expository teachings and a powerful prophetic breakthrough service this Sunday at Christian Pentecostal Mission International with God's anointed servants, Rev. Dr. O. Isaacal, the General Overseer, Rev. Dr. Mercy Isaacal, Co-Pastor, National and International Coordinator, and other anointed servants of God. Worship with us this Sunday at 8.30 a.m. at Christian Pentecostal Mission International Headquarters, 10 and 12 Latif Salami Street at Jawa Estate, along Mutala Mohammed Airport Road, Lagos. You can also worship with any CPM International branch close to you. It will be a time of salvation, healing, deliverance in the presence of God. CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord.